All I have in this world is my balls and my word, and I don't break them for no one. Do you understand? Rightio Legends, Chaos Chronicles, we're back with another video. And so once again, I, my computer is playing funny buggers with me and I've literally tried to make this video three or four times, but we're going to try again. But yesterday, I was watching a YouTube video that was on the unspoken rules of prison. And the thing was, I was watching this video and it was an American video and I thought, I wonder if anyone in Australia has done these type of vids. I tried to have a look and nobody has. So we're going to do uh, a small series of videos. I've got pages here of our Victorian unspoken, unwritten laws, whatever you want to call them. And so we're going to do a small series on it. So we'll, we'll do as much as we can on each video, but we're going to do maybe three videos on this. So I've got pages and pages on these um, rules, so we'll get into it. But first, before I get into it, if anyone hasn't already subscribed to my channel, if you jump up there and shoot me a subscription, that would be very, very fantabulistic of you, and I would really appreciate that. And if you hit that little bell symbol next to the subscription symbol, you will never miss any of my clips. So, all right, let's get into it. Unspoken Prison Rules, Episode 1. Let's go. All right, so the first one I've written is, don't steal from other prisoners, even if you are a thief on the outside. So this is a very common one. I see this a lot. People think because it's okay, well, because they think it's okay to steal off everybody and anybody from on the outside that you're going to get away with it when you're in prison because I can promise you right now one of the worst labels you can have when you are in prison is being called a PT, which means petty thief or Peter thief and um, it does not mean personal trainer and you can guarantee that if you steal off anybody that they are going to try their utmost best to make your life an absolute living hell and so will anybody else who disagrees with you stealing and that will be 99.9% of the prison don't steal off other crooks. Um, all right, so my next one, I always, when I ever say anything about this rule, someone always, you know, has a laugh about it and can't understand, so I'm going to try and spell it out the best I can. So what I've written is, don't whistle. There is never a time when it is okay to whistle. It will definitely get you hurt, in quotation marks, mar masks, marks. So, why that is, is because as you guys know, here in Australia, we call snitches dogs as well as rats and skunks and all these other names, but um, that is why. And so what do you do when you want to get your dog's attention? You whistle at your dog. And so that is, yeah, what what is, that is why you should not be whistling in prison at all. Um, so don't whistle and you won't get into any shit. Um Next one, never call anyone who you don't know their names by anything other than their names. Now, I know that doesn't really make sense what I just said because how are you supposed to call them by their name if you do not know their name? Well, I say do not talk to anyone who you don't know or, or definitely do not try and get someone's attention by saying, hey, buddy, hey, bro, or, you know, hey, brother, because I guarantee you somebody is going to tell you that you are not their friend and don't do that. Rightio. And so our next one is not that our Victorian prisons are racially segregated, but we're definitely heading in that direction. And that's generally because of the way that the crooks treat each other and, and whatnot. So, but w what I say is when you first arrive to prison, I wouldn't suggest that you go up and try and talk to anybody that isn't from your own race. And I know that sounds very racist. So for the people that are watching this and think that I'm being racist, I'm definitely not. I'm just trying to protect you and, you know, let you know that people will get not only offended but threatened if you try and walk up to them or their group and they do not know who you are. And so that is another one that you definitely, definitely don't want to be caught out doing. So what I say is if, you know, if if you don't know someone, don't go up and try and introduce yourself as a friend or something like that, you know, if they want to know you or if they want to get to know you, they will let you know of that. So don't try and – and I only suggest if this, if this is your first time in prison also. So, yeah, sometimes people will definitely, definitely, you know, um, try and – 
Like say, for instance, if you're walking up to a group that's that's a gang or something like that and you walk up to them, some people might feel threatened at that. So I just suggest that you don't do that. But my, my next one is probably the most important rule that there is to, to talk about and that is never, ever, ever speak to anybody about your case, what you are in prison for at that time, like say you were on remand or never, ever, ever talk to anyone in any prisons about any crimes that you haven't been convicted of because I promise you, as much as you think you're in a safe place where people won't snitch on you, people will snitch on you and people have done it and will continue to do it and so... I always say this, do not tell anybody about your case because someone will run to the cops and use whatever little information you have given them and they will use it to gain advantage for themselves like time off their sentence or whatever. And, you know, the thing is the police aren't going to do any investigation around your snitching because you're going to stand up in court and be a snitch and they know that and so they don't investigate it. So, Yeah, definitely, definitely don't talk to anyone about your case and especially at prisons like MRC where they spend like 18, 16 million dollars on security or something like that. People have been done for, you know, speaking to people about their crimes at MRC. The whole place is wide for sound. You can be walking around in the yard and they can hear exactly what you're saying in the middle of the yard. So never, ever, ever talk to anybody about the case, what you're on remand for at that time. Like say if you weren't given bail and you were put on remand, never speak to anybody about your case or cases that you haven't been convicted of. Because I promise you people will definitely, definitely try and, you know, gain an advantage off you from that all right so my next one is never borrow anything off anyone or take something for free or you will definitely have to pay back double and if you don't or can't you will get some dramas you don't need and also never lend anything unless you are prepared to result in physical violence to get it back. So basically, you know, people will come up to you if they know it's your first time and they'll try and give you something for free, like say a Mars bar or something like that. And you think, geez, I haven't had anything sweet since I've been locked up. So, you know, people will say that they're giving it to you for free. And then the next day, they will or the next canteen day, they will definitely ask you for some kind of reimbursement. So yeah, don't, borrow anything off anyone, don't lend anything to anyone, don't do any of that kind of stuff unless you are literally willing to fight to the death to get it back because that's what you're going to be having to do if someone thinks that you owe them and you haven't got what you owe them. So, yeah, definitely don't borrow anything off anyone, don't lend anything to anyone, don't do any of that. All right. So, This one is also people think it's a funny one, but don't make eye contact with somebody um, unless you have to. Um, You can be found out staring at the wrong person and I promise you they are going to pull you up on it. Like I'll use an example, like say for instance, I was sitting at a table playing cards with my mates. I look over and you're just staring at me. I'm going to be thinking, what is that guy staring at? What is his problem? And so, therefore, do not make eye contact with people unless you really need to. And if someone catches you looking at them, just pretend like you're looking over their shoulder or something like that and just pretend that you didn't catch eye contact because I promise you people will get offended by it. And, yeah, don't do that. All right, so the next one is if someone tries to stand over you or or, try, or tries to take your stuff, it's always better to defend yourself because it's better to take one potential beating for defending yourself rather than taking multiple beatings for not standing up for yourself. So what I'm saying is like if someone's trying to stand off, stand over you for something or take something off you that's not theirs, you're better off just teeing off on them straight away because if someone sees you get stood over and you're not doing anything about it, they are definitely, definitely going to have something to say and therefore people will think you're weak and you will definitely be having to fight more more battles than you need to be fighting so definitely don't do that one either but all right guys there you go that's it for our first series uh, our first episode of our series um and that leaves me to say if you guys haven't jumped up there and shot me a subscription jump up there and shoot me a subscription it really helps my page to grow i really appreciate it and if you hit that bell you'll never miss any of my clips and um yeah if you don't want to 
end up in prison and have to deal with any of these bullshit ru- rules, don't do drugs and crime and you won't end up in prison and you won't have to deal with it. All right, guys, I've been the Chaos Chronicles. We out. I am also the guy who decides if you and your friends walk out of here or not.